Will the Cat here, and today I'm going to be giving you my Myotis Mon deck profile. Um, it's been a while since I've updated this deck, and I've been deck testing it a lot, and I think I finally have it the way I like it and the way that I think it works best. So I wanted to share it with all of you, and it's perfect because it's October and it's the spooky season. I think My Otis Mon just fits great for this month. So anyways, let's just get right into the deck profile. I'll start off by showing you what Digi Eggs I run. In this deck, I'm running four copies of Pogumon. I think, yeah, this one is an older card now that I'm looking at it closer. I like to run this Pogumon because he just trashes the top card of the deck when attacking. Um, if you wanted to run something else, um, you could totally run Demi Marimon, which has the on deletion effect to draw one and trash one from your hand. So it's good to set up the Myotis Mons in your trash. But I just like this one because I think it kind of coordinates with the deck a little bit better with some of the option cards that we are running in this deck that I will show you in a little bit. So four copies of Pogumon is what I'm using with this Myotis Mon deck. Now that's it for the Digi Eggs that I'm running. So let's move on to the level threes. The first level three I'm running is this copy of Demi Devimon from the Classic Collection a very long time ago. So it just has retaliation and an ability on your turn while you don't have a Digimon with Myotismon in its name and play, this Digimon can't attack your opponent's Digimon. We're running this mostly because it has the retaliation ability and it's going to be a target for our um, level six Myotismon that can call him from our trash. So it's just nice to have, and it's really cool that a level three has retaliation. A very annoying ability, but a very cool one if you're the one using it. Here is the next level three I'm running. It's another Demi Devimon. This one's a little bit newer. It has an on play ability to reveal the top three cards of your deck, add a tamer card among them to your hand, and trash one purple Digimon card among them. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. So this is going to help us search out the tamer that we're running that I'll show you in a few minutes. And it's going to allow us to build up our trash with the Myotis Mons. Next up is a promo card that I'm running. Another uh, Demi Devimon. This is, like I said, it's a little bit of an older promo and it just has the on play ability to trash the top two cards of your deck. I know um, this is worth like a, a few bucks. I don't remember the exact price at the time of making this video, but if you didn't want to go out and buy these or if you don't have access to these or anything like that, you could just run some uh, Psychemon or Gazimon or the two drop Demi Devimon common that was um, from a few sets ago if you'd like, or just run whatever you want in that slot. But that's just what I prefer. Uh, next up, speaking of Psychemon, I'm just running one copy of this. Just has the ability on, on all turns, players can't reduce play costs. And then here is two copies of Gazimon. On all turns, your opponent can't gain memory except with tamer effects. I just like to run the two Gazimon and Psychemon, just kind of like generic level threes that are uh, very helpful with their effects. That was it for the level threes, so let's move on to the level fours. I'm running four copies of this older uh, Devimon. I'm kind of running this for the same reason that I'm running the level three uh, Demi Devimon with retaliation because he has retaliation and it's also really cool that he has an inherited effect. That's the same thing. So for, like I said, the same reason I'm running this as the Demi Demimon is because it's a target for us to call from the trash to the field. Next up is this Wizard Mon from Classic Collection. He has Retaliation, but he also has a really, really cool inherited effect. On your turn, all of your Digimon with Retaliation gain Rush. That can come in handy, especially if you use him during the right time. And if you like have him underneath like a Myotis Mon and then you go into Malamyotis Mon or the other level six um, Myotis Mon and then you can 
bring out your Demi, Devimon, or just your Devimon, and they could, they already have Rush and Retaliation, so it's a very good combo, in my opinion, to run this Wizardmon for its inherited effect, and its main effect as well, because it's just another target for us to call. And here is the last level four that I'm running. Two copies of Ogremon. When attacking, you may trash one card in your hand to have the Digimon gain security attack plus one. And he has an inherited effect. When attacking, you may trash one card in your hand to have this Digimon gain plus 2,000 for the turn. So I like both of the uh, both of this Digimon's um, effects because it allows us to choose something in our hand to move to the trash. So most likely if you have like a lot of my Otis Mons in your hand, you could trash one of them and kind of build up your trash with the, I believe you need five My Otis Mons in your trash to activate the level six My Otis Mons ability. So he kind of helps us with that. And the plus one security is just very nice to have. That was it for the level fours. So let's move on to the level fives. We're running four copies of the Myotismon from the Classic Collection. Um, so I just, uh, this is the same as this, it's just an alternate art. Um, probably one of my favorite alternate arts. If any of you have this one, <laughs> contact me and I kind of want to buy some more. So kind of just a little announcement there, a side message there. But anyways, I really prefer this Myotismon compared to the promo Myotismon that just gives retaliation. Um, it's just a little bit better. So on your turn, when this Digimon digivolves into a Digimon with Myotismon, its name in your hand, reduce the memory cost by of the digivolution by one, and then he has an inherited ability. While this Digimon has Myotismon its name, all of your Digimon with retaliation can also attack your opponent's unsuspended level four or lower Digimon. So um, this is just a very good uh, card to run in this deck. I think it's one of the better Myotismon. Like I said, I would definitely run this one over the promo one that gives retaliation and the um, vanilla one that just doesn't have an effect. And I think it has like a play cost of six. I like this one a lot because it's gonna make our dissolutions cheaper and that inherited ability is just very, very good. Next up, I'm running four copies of this Myotismon from BT8. He just has an ability, when digivolving, trash tip two cards of your deck. Then you may play one, you, I, oh my god, this guy's name, I'm probably gonna say it wrong like I always do. Let's see, Yukio Okiwa, I think, Okawa, I think is probably his name. He's the tamer of this deck. From your trash without paying its memory cost, and then an inherited effect that's on deletion. If the Sujimon has Myotismon, its name, you may play one of the tamer from your hand or trash suspended without paying its memory cost. So um, I really like this because it sets us up with the tamer, and the tamer is going to kind of um, bring out a, a Milo Myotismon from our trash onto the field um, without paying its play cost. and. The inherited effect is also very good because it kind of does the same thing or a similar thing as the main effect. It sets us up to have that tamer on our field so we can use its ability. So just a good setup card to get our tamer onto the field. That was it for the level five. So let me show you guys what level sixes we're running. I'm running four copies of the Mao Myotismon, who has the on play ability. If there are five or more cards with Myotismon and their names in your trash, delete one of your opponent's unsuspended Digimon and trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. And when Digivolving, trash the top five cards of your deck. Then if there's a card with Myotismon in its name in your trash, gain one memory. So um, this card is kind of the main card of the deck. I prefer it over the other one, but I do run a few of the other level six that I'm gonna show you in a minute. So this is kind of like how I was saying, I like to run this Myotismon to Digivolve on top of him because it's gonna make this guy cost one less. So, you know, paying three is way, way better than paying four. So that's why this Myotismon is pretty good to run with this guy and the on play ability is kind of what we're aiming to uh, get off in this deck. So you wanna try to have at least 
five or more things with my Otis Mondance name in your trash. So that counts all of your level fives and all of your level sixes. You wanna try to get those in your trash kind of as fast as possible so you can get off this ability. And you're probably wondering how you get him played onto the field at a cheaper cost than, you know, 13. And our tamer that I'm gonna show you in a few minutes is going to um, make more sense uh, with that uh, on play ability. So I'll show you that in a minute. But the four copies of this Mile My Mon is very good to run in the deck. And I do like the memory gain ability from the Digivolving, um, you know, if you have to Digivolve into him. So four copies of him. Next up, I'm running three copies of the Venom My Mon from Classic Collection. Um, you know, like I said, I do run Mao Mayotis Mon, but I also run this one because of I really like his effect. And I also wanted more things that had the Myotis Mon in its name in this deck. So that's why we're running um, a good amount of level sixes with Myotis Mon instead of just like a ton of level fives. So anyways, this guy has retaliation and he has a win attacking skill once per turn. You may play one purple level four lower Digimon with retaliation from your trash without paying its memory costs, any on play effects um, of that Digimon don't activate. So you're going to use this guy to get out all of your level threes and level fours with um, retaliation. So that's gonna be our Wizard Mon, Devimon, and Demi Devimon. So that's why we're running maxed out numbers of these guys. So it's good if these guys are in your trash as well. As, as well as anything with my Otis Mon in its name in your um, deck into your trash. So that's why I was saying that our Demi Devimon and our uh, Devimon and Wizardmon are our targets for this card because he's gonna call them out. And um, it's just very good to fill out the field. And it's even cooler if you, let's see, combo, if I can find him, here he is. If you combo with your wizard mon and like digivolve on top of them, let's say if you have like a good amount of memory, then that'll allow all of your things with retaliation to gain rush and you can attack with, you know, the things that you brought out with um, this guy automatically at, when you bring them out that turn because they'll have rush from your wizard mon. A lot of cool things you can do in this deck. So three copies of Venom My Otis Mon that I like to run. And that is it for all of the Digimon cards, so let me show you guys what tamers we're running, especially the one that I was talking a lot about earlier. We are running four copies of, uh, I'm just gonna call him Yuko, or Yukio might be his name, I'm not really sure. But anyways, he has an ability on all turns. When one of your Digimon with my Otis Mon and its name is deleted, you can suspend this tamer to gain one memory. And then at the end of your opponent's turn, if this tamer is suspended, you may delete this tamer to play one Malomyotismon from your trash without paying its memory cost. And then the security ability is of course to just play it without paying for it. So anyways, like I was saying earlier, that is how you're going to get out your Malomyotismon. Say it's your turn and you have Yukio, <laughs> Yukio on your field and your opponent somehow kind of kills your Myotis Mon, you tap him to gain a memory. It's gonna go back to your opponent's turn. And then, you know, when they finish their turn, if you're still alive, um, at the end of their turn, you're going to delete him to bring out Mal Myotis Mon from your trash without paying for it. And then that's when his on play skill is going to activate. You're gonna be able to delete one of your opponent's Digimon that is unsuspended and trash one of your opponent's uh, security from the top of their stack. So that's kind of the combo that you wanna try to get off in this deck. Um, that's also why I'm running four of this because I know there's a good amount of things in, um, I, know, I guess I guess I'll say the meta right now that kill tamers. So that's why I'm running four in case one of your opponents um, kills one of them. You want to try to get another one on board. So that's why also I'm running the um, the Myotis Mon that sets him up for us on the field. So four copies of this guy, so he can bring out our Mal Myotis Mon and get off that on play effect. 
All right, so that was it for the Tamaris. Let's move on to the option cards. We are running a, a pretty good amount of them in this deck just to have some good defensive options. So first off, I'm running three or four copies of Mist Memory Boost. I think it kind of fits into the theme of the deck very well. We have Myodismon uh, teaching these very young Digimon, I don't know how to do crimes, I guess, is if I were to guess anything. But I'm a big fan of running Miss Memory Boost in this deck. It's just a really, really solid card. So on your main phase, you can trash top two cards of your deck and draw a card. And then it has the delay ability that all of the other Memory Boosts kind of have, or most of the Memory Boosts have. When it comes back to your turn, um, you can trash this to gain two memory. So just good for giving us a good amount of memory. Here is two other options that I'm running that I think are funny. Uh, you know, it's kind of up to you if, if you build this deck, if you want to run these. I like this card. I think it's a solid card to run in this deck, but it's up to you if you want to run it or not. If you want to run something more aggressive, go for it. But this is my choice. Two copies of Fight for Your Pride. So he has the main ability to play one purple level four lower Digimon card from your trash without paying its memory cost. Then if you have a Digimon with Myotismon its name in play, one of your Digimon gets blocker until the end of your opponent's next turn. And then the security ability is different from its main ability. You can play one purple level four or lower Digimon card from your trash without paying its memory cost. So I really like this option card because it kind of um, builds up your field and it can turn something into a blocker, which is really nice and defensive. Uh, you know, when it goes back to your opponent's turn. Of course, you just want to be sure that you have something with Myotismon on the field to get that off. And what makes it very good is if you bring out something like Devimon um, and you, with this card, you can give it Blocker. And so now your Devimon has Retaliation and Blocker. And no matter what your opponent kind of attacks into it, if it doesn't have any effects that, um, you know, stop Retaliation, you can just block with that Devimon because it's a blocker and then use the retaliation ability to kill whatever killed it. So that's kind of what you want to aim for when using this card. Now here is two copies of the last cards we're running in this deck. Two copies of Death Slinger. So in this deck, I'm sure you can tell already, we're trashing a lot of cards from the top of our deck. So this is gonna let us gain a memory and if it's trashed and then at the main effect is to delete one of your opponent's level four or lower digimon for every 10 cards in your trash add one to the maximum level of the digimon you can choose with this effect you know for every 10 cards that's in your trash so um this deck really uh is really about building up your trash so that's no problem to get off and it also is just a more aggressive card to kill your opponent's digimon you know you benefit from having a big trash by using this card when you use this card so you can take out your opponent's bigger monsters that are like level five or level six depending on how many things you have in your trash but it, then again it's also good to hit off when you trash it from the top of your get from the top of your deck because then you gain a memory so that's it for the deck profile i hope you guys enjoyed this is one of my favorite decks I've been using uh, currently and I think it's a funny deck and a fun deck. I don't think it's like meta or anything but I think it's something fun to take to a locals and kind of troll with. But anyways I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you all next time.